Martin asked a question. I'm about to buy a new PC with Windows 11. And my Woo-hoo, needs Martin. are supplied with Microsoft 365 purchased via Microsoft Store with the annual subscription rather than monthly payments. Excellent. <laughs> Have any problems with the download been experienced or is it straightforward? I'm moving from Windows XP, Steam driven. So mm-hmm. via Steam and Windows XP in the mix. This is wow. Martin. You live on the I don't edge. think he's wow. saying Steam. I think he's I making a reference back to Steam engines. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you we gamer might be Christian. Christian. Steam yeah, I know. No, I know. Well, that's, I did What's that because Val of this last thing. This? He says, so I'm not a young user and games will not be played too. So, you know. <laughs> Just want to clarify. Yeah. So, Steve, yeah. So he's on that jalopy of old Windows XP because he's trying to upgrade. It's a uh, point of sale device from a 7 Eleven in the middle of nowhere <laughs> or something, you know? And you know what? There's a reason why Did point of sale is POS. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, guys. I'd say good for you for making the change. Because it yeah. I'm I'm guessing that's getting a little long in the G. It's it's probably we're in a little slow. I oh, think yeah. you're gonna have at this point, Windows and Office pair together so well, it's PB and J. Yeah, I, I've been. Go ahead, Christian. I was that just going to say like that a click to run account. Uh, yeah. Arrangement then. No, you really shouldn't have any problem installing it. Yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing that Microsoft has been really good about, uh, you know, it even skipping multiple versions of uh, making it still fairly you know, backwards compatible and fairly seamless. So I was going to say the same thing as Hal, that it should be a fairly easy process. Now, the Up one thing <laughs> that I'll point out that sometimes my family members get confused on and things like that is the Microsoft account. So when you first turn on that Windows 11 computer, it's going to ask you to either sign up for or sign in with a Microsoft account. Make sure that's the same email address you used to purchase your annual Microsoft 365 subscription. If you do that, everything will work seamlessly. If you don't, it's going to be a little bit more of a tricky challenge to make it all work together. Yeah, so I've been running Windows 11 for probably about a year now. I don't, I got it when it was, uh, on one of the beta channels in the Windows, uh, whatever program that is, first adopter, I don't even remember. But in any case, um, some of the new PCs, especially if you're getting a 12th generation um, Intel based system, Intel's gone to a hybrid core system where there are performance cores and efficiency cores. Um, and you need Windows 11 to properly schedule tasks um in a 12th generation intel computer so you'll actually see some benefit performance wise uh at least if you're doing that intel 12th generation type or based system so little trivial detail if you want the next computer to last as long as your xp one did get a 12th gen processor is what sean's saying (laughs) yeah very cool. Yeah, the, and and one thing is be careful too about what you purchase and make sure that it is. There are new machines that are selling out there today that are still not able to run Windows 11. So look specifically at that. Yeah, TPM 1.2, trusted platform module needs to be present. I do love the new interface though for even, you know, Microsoft kind of has had this reputation over the years. You you use other software programs and they're very nice to you and they're very easy and very intuitive. And Microsoft, I think in the past hasn't been quite as intuitive, but I think the newer stuff like Windows 11, there it's, you know, kind of pop right in there and Cortana's real nice to you and walks you through it step by step and tells you what to do. And she's like, hang on, I'm almost done. Right? So, I mean, I, I think that intuitiveness has really come a long ways for Microsoft. So I think no matter, you know, kind of how proficient you are, I think getting that set up now is has become a lot easier. TPM too, preferable. Yeah. And if you don't understand what we're saying, just make sure. Go to my blog. Make sure, oh, that. 
Or make sure it has an 11 sticker on the box. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, that's the easy way. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you.